Griffin's play No Flowers for Ali is an exploration of faith, anger and guilt. Nancy is blind, Ali is paralysed and still angry about it. They meet in a church. The relationship between Ali and Max is that Max was driving the car um, in the accident that left Ali permanently disabled and killed one of their friends. So Max is filled with guilt, Ali is filled with anger, and that is how the play begins. Cut stone churches. We won't be here long. Can't think why you wanted to come in here anyway. Just an old building. The old hymn books, rotting flowers. Fresh. Fresh? Can't you smell it? Fresh flowers. I think it's very difficult for him to be the one who is left and to be left in such a dependent position. So uh, I guess that Ali feels almost as though he's got all eyes on him and there's a huge amount of expectation for him to carry uh, to be a hero and to be the, the brave one who, who came out of it and conquered his disability. And he doesn't feel like that at all. I'd have taken an overdose weeks ago if I'd been able to. I've told them if I get something, I'll refuse medication, anything. All I've had so far is a cold. And that weren't enough to kill me, the worst luck. It'll come soon enough, don't worry. My father talked about death all the time. It was his favorite subject for preaching. He thought it was good for people to be reminded about it all the time, about the end. <laughs> He reckoned it would do them good, thinking today might be their last. Did it work? No. Well, obviously, faith is really, really important to Nancy. Uh, it's a large part of her up, upbringing. Um, uh, Ali, it's something he's always felt a bit uncomfortable with, and they form kind of an unlikely alliance of outsiders where, whereby um, uh, Nancy will push the chair for Ali while Ali describes what is happening and what he sees. Just tell me what you see. Don't bother about the colours. Just the things. From here? From the doorway. I've stood here so often. Years. And no idea see the city all spread out the high rises and the spires and things town clock and hall and then beyond it are the hills one of the extraordinary moments for me I met an audience member who I had not seen for about five years and she met me at the beginning of the performance where I was sat in my chair waiting to go on and there was this shock and I said, no, 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 it's fine. It's be because of the play. But in that moment, I'd seen both the shock that an event like this could cause in someone else's life and also the, the tiniest flicker of a judgment because when she s saw me, I had been a pretty arrogant young man and it was, well, you know, the, these things happen. Um, uh, so that was really useful f for me to use then in the performance. Yeah, clear on a day like this, uh, fading but, but there, blue, green, brown, all sorts, and the wind farm, white windmills out on the summit. The faith that Nancy has and the way that she interprets it in relation to her disability comes as something of a surprise to him and it's making him look and think again both about faith and about his own life. I would personally say that it's almost saying it doesn't matter whether or not it's true. It's the, it's the act of the creative engagement with it that can enliven someone's life, and that's what we see in Ali. For more information about Radius, visit radiusdrama.org.uk.